Okay, we have arrived at Fountain Blue State Park in Mandeville, Louisiana. We are staying at the lodge. We have never stayed here before. We normally stay at the cabins overlooking the lake, but they've been closed since uh, Hurricane Ida almost two years ago. They will be opening again in the spring. So we thought we'd try the cabin. I heard this is a lovely place, and so far it looks like it is. This was built in the 1930s, as I understand, and it's really kind of a historic gem. Look at this beautiful big porch. Wow, lovely. Two big picnic tables. Let's go on in. I noticed that too, deadbolt and a handle lock, double locks. Okay, so when you walk in, this is just beautiful. Two big couches first. TV in the corner, two nice comfy chairs, and another big couch on the other side. And look at the fireplace. As I look up, gorgeous lighting, look at the ceiling. Wow, beautiful, beautiful architecture here. Okay, let's go on. I'm gonna start on this first bedroom, it looks like, to the right. Yeah, this is a bunk room, two full bunk beds, so four can sleep in here. Very nice, very clean, smells good. Looks like they just cleaned. I'm going, I love, look at all, I just love the woodworking in here, just beautiful. Okay, so when I go down the hall, straight ahead is a bath. It's got a shower, uh, little rack for towels and such, the commode and the wash area. So if I turn right, I come into the back side of the fireplace, which is a beautiful bricked wall. Again, this all looks original, just lovely. Okay, that looks like a back door, it is. And I'll take you back there at the end of this tour. Okay, this room here looks like it must be for storage because it's locked. On the other side, there's another bathroom. So there are two bathrooms here so far and four beds, which is awesome if you want to bring a large group. I'm just here with my husband, so we're going to have this whole place to ourselves. All right, here's another bedroom. This has one set of bunks plus a queen bed. So that's four more places to sleep. That's eight. Next to this and adjoining this room is looks like the master. This is going to be a queen, so that will be 10 people who can sleep. This room also has a little closet for you hang up clothes. And it wraps around back to the living area. So it's a really nice uh, floor plan. I haven't found the kitchen yet. Let's see. The kitchen is going to be back around. Ah, and to the right. Okay, here's your kitchen. Big gas stove and, and a griddle top. Really nice. Refrigerator, your sink, microwave over there in the corner, and a nice table that seats five. This is view of the outside. Like this is uh, powered by propane. Really beautiful, beautiful uh, cabin. This is truly a lodge. It's, all right, I'm gonna take you out this back door now. Screen porch back here. I'm sorry, screen door back here. And lots of room. But backs right up to the uh, to the woods. It's like another little storage room out there. As we go around the side of the cabin, there are two nice picnic tables, a grill, and also a fire pit. Just really beautiful. Let's go see what this little building is. I imagine that's storage. Maybe lawnmowers and such. Yeah, that's what it looks like, and it's it's locked. But look at the woods back here, and there's trails back here. Wow, looks like you could just walk down here and meander into the woods on little walking trails. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, I think we're gonna love our stay here at Fountain Blue State Park Lodge. Take you one more time around to the front. This would be a 
great place to bring family, kids, grandkids, friends, because it's very roomy and two bathrooms. This is a view of the porch from the side. Isn't this just lovely? There is also a, uh, a gate as you enter off the main highway, which has a keypad. So we can actually um, lock ourselves in in the evenings for extra security if we would like. Ample parking out in the front. Beautiful pine trees everywhere. Uh, I don't think we could ask for more. Really, really beautiful.